Welcome back to our channels. I'm Alex. This is my friend Jess. She's also known as Healthy Habits by Jess. She is all things nutrition, health, well then. Tell them a little about yourself. Okay. <laughs> I am a holistic nutritionist and I'm all about eating real foods using natural, non-toxic skincare products and educating people on how they can live an all-around healthy lifestyle. And Jess is honestly who I go to for any like skincare and health advice. I always am like, what is like the natural way to do this? For example, the mask we are going to make today with aloe and cucumber. It's a super hydrating face mask, which is perfect for the cold winter months that are upon us. And it's really, really easy to make. You just need a couple of tools and ingredients. You literally need two things. And what's crazy about the aloe is there are so many options on masks you can make. So you can really use what you have on hand. Um, I happen to only have cucumbers. So mm -hmm. that is what we are going to use today. But it just helps us because it is something that is very common. Yeah. And, and mixed with the aloe hydrating. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted to, you could use honey, you could use yogurt, you could use oats, whatever you have uh, sitting at home to make a mask with. Which is awesome. So uh, today you are going to need a cucumber, either a small one or a quarter of a full size one. You're going to need one small leaf of an aloe plant and if you don't have an aloe plant at home, you can go to most grocery stores now and buy just an individual leaf. They're about this big. Um, so you do have to use them pretty quickly. They Once the inside gel has been peeled out, um, they'll go bad after about three or four days in the fridge. But don't worry, there's so many uses for aloe, so you're not going to be wasting. You can use it on your skin, um, all over your body to hydrate. You can use it if you have any sort of burns, and you can add it into smoothies um, as something to hydrate you internally. You are going to need one blender, one bowl, a knife, and a spoon, and a vegetable peeler. Oh, one of those two. <laughs> but that is it. That is it. So no one has any excuses because everyone has that on hand for most people. And it's super, super easy to make. And yeah, so if you want to see how we got this amazing hydrating mask that we speak of, <laughs> please keep watching. So I'm going to take the cucumber. Mm -hmm. And first I'm going to start by peeling it with a vegetable peeler. Um, and you can use any cucumber. Today we're using a mini cucumber. But the reason we're using a cucumber is because we're going to make a super hydrating um, mask. Guys, this is so perfect, especially for the wet like weather that's we're experiencing <laughs> right now. Because I don't know about you, but for me, as I've mentioned in previous videos, my skin is so dry in the winter time. I'm going to cut it into quarters because um, we need to scoop out the seeds from the inside. I'm just scraping the seeds out into this bowl, which is where all the garbage will go. Um, and then once you've scraped out the seeds, you just cut the cucumber into smaller pieces so that it blends um, more easily in your blender. I'll cut while you scoop. Perfect. Should I put it into the blender? Yeah, put it into the blender. So the next step is to have a fresh aloe plant and take one of the, I don't even know what these are called, I guess like the stems off of it. Um, and then we are just going to peel the skin off the outside and scoop out the contents of the aloe into the blender. And Alex is going to do this part. Yeah. My nice the surgeon, <laughs> Those surgeon hands. Okay, so I just cut out like the front of it. And it's kind of this like clear jelly goo consistency. This reminds me of the, um, oh my god, what's it called? From <laughs> Stranger Things. Like they're yes. goo. <laughs> what's it called? I don't know, but I know. Dormageddon or something. I, uh, oh, I just got to that episode. Um, when they, see, oh, now it's like starting to come out easily once you get through that like first little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so too soon. Okay, I'm so putting the garbage into the bowl, which the bowl. is in the sink. So my garbage bowl. Okay, so now we have everything in the blender. And this will be enough for how many masks? 
I would say at least two. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you know when it's done being blended? You want it to be a very, um, you want everything to look blended. You don't want it to be chunky and you want it to be a very smooth consistency. Okay, so the, I think I had it on puree for, I don't know, like a, a minute. minute? Not yeah. even. Okay. And what is the best way to then apply, apply it and make sure it stays sterile and clean? So two ways, you can either make sure that you wash your hands and then just apply it with your fingers and let it sit on your face. Um, or the other option would be to take like a clean foundation brush maybe, some sort of um, makeup brush that you use for liquid makeup anyway, make sure it's cleaned. Like It literally looks like a green jelly liquid. I'm not even kidding, it's from Stranger Things. <laughs> it looks like it's just about a couple tablespoons, maybe two or three, but that should be more than enough to spread across your face. So I just want to put this everywhere. I'm going to put it everywhere. Um, if you are only, if you have combination skin, then you could probably just put it on the dry spots. Okay, so I just poured a little into the palm of my hand since we're sharing this. It's kind of nice and cold and like It's refreshing. very refreshing. So you can see that you can't really see anything on our faces, but when I look at Alex, I definitely see some green. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you draw <laughs> it. <laughs> they almost look like boogers. Yeah, it does kind of look like boogers. Um, so we're just going to let this sit for about 15-20 minutes. Okay, so the mask now kind of feels like tight on my skin. Not like like I can't open my mouth tight. <laughs> no, I'm not like uncomfortable but, but like it, I definitely it doesn't feel, feel wet like no, it feels yeah. like it's dried totally I feel like dry. it went on it was like soaking wet and then I felt it sort of drying like along my jawline first and then yeah, now it's like nice. it feels everywhere like it's dried so oh. I'm taking just like a cotton pad and we're just gonna use a little bit of warm water and wipe this off our faces okay oh it's like coming off on the cotton pad all green do you look yeah oh no but yeah so this would be I think a good mask to do like before you go to bed because then you can just do your nighttime routine follow with your moisturizer and then wake up in the morning with more hydrated skin it feels very smooth and soft my skin like yeah it? I agree right. like a lot of the time when I wash off my face wash and it's like tight and dry right yeah and I don't have that no it feels very nice and smooth and like I don't know just ready <laughs> so I I'm gonna show you what I do after I wash my face and like my routine a lot of this stuff isn't all natural but it's just stuff I love using and brands I like and Jess will show you what she does after she washes her face which is the all the all natural. Yeah. Um, so today I'm just going to be taking some coconut oil and warming it up in between my hands and spreading it on my face. But a lot of the time at home, um, I will use an oil mixture of jojoba oil, sea buckthorn oil, tamanu oil, and baobab. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oil. Mix it all together and put it on. And then if I'm feeling really dry, I'll put the coconut oil on top to just help it all um, sink into my skin. <laughs> I couldn't repeat those of my life depending on it. <laughs> Everything will be linked below, guys, too. Um, I'm going to go in with my Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance. I switch between this and Active Moist. Active Moist I'll use in the summer. As soon as it starts to get cold outside, this is my go-to because it's obviously the more hydrating amount. I squirt like a little bit into my hand, and I mix this with my Skin Cuticles, Beef, hydrating B5 gel, and I just put just a little drop of that into my hand, and I put a lit, another like two pumps of this Ole Hendrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. Do you do the same thing in the morning and night? I won't, no, this is like my night. I will put... What do you do different? I'll do just the moisturizer and just the um, Ole Hendrickson for the day. And then, so then I go into my intensive eye repair. This is also by Dermalogica. And I put the tiniest amount on the back of my finger. 
sort of tap my two middle fingers together, excuse my middle fingers, <laughs> and then I just tap this on under my eye, kind of like around my eye. I don't know, I guess those preventative steps since we are getting old, older. Do you use the eye in the morning and at night? I just use it at night. I don't like doing like this all every morning too, like I don't want to overdo it. I feel like simple is always better. And then I'm going into my Skin Cuticles Antioxidant Lip Repair. And it's just the best lip moisturizer and I put it on before bed. My lips never feel chapped. Yeah, I have my coconut oil for that and it tastes good. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching. I loved this mask. I definitely recommend trying it. It is super, super hydrating for those winter months. And I had so much filming with you. So much fun <laughs> filming with yeah. you tonight. <laughs> um, and we would love to know what other kind of homemade skincare remedies you guys would like to see. So comment below um, and we can work on those for you. Please subscribe to both of our channels and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. It okay. smells yellow. I don't smell it, I smell it. No, Jess, it smells. Unless you do. Do I smell? <laughs> I don't think I do. Mm-mm. Okay, it's yellow. Aloe plants are known to smell like you.